Hello and welcome to Elite Geospatial. I am Shama Kirimam. Today we are going to be looking at close range photogrammetry. And today will be the field aspect of the close range photogrammetry. I intend to preserve um, the ABU landmark, popularly known as the ABU signboard, located at the ABU main gate. Now, the task is to be able to have an overlap that snap picture at an overlap of 60% around the object. Now, our device, you don't just snap once, but you snap twice, like you round the object twice at an overlap of 60%. Now, the reason why you need to snap twice is in case there are places where you were able, unable to get up to 60% overlap, you'll be able to get that on the second rounding. So the tax here is, you get this picture at a 60% overlap, you snap it without shadow, and you snap it without light. What do I mean by without light? Without external light or turning on the light of your phone. So you are supposed to do this in the daytime, not in the nighttime. And during the day, you don't use flash, even if you're using DSLR camera. Now, the mobile phone is embedded with the GPS device in every mobile phone. So it's more better and more advanced to use mobile phone to, compared to just using non-metric cameras like this DSLR camera. Though the phone itself is also a non-metric camera but it has a GPS device that can adapt to this uh, mobile location. So without any further ado, let's get down to the field and get it done. All right, so we are currently at the location we want to preserve. Now, one of the application of close range photogrammetric is the preservation of object. Now, this monument behind me here has been demolished before. Now, the former VC demolished this object, and the current VC came, and then it was voted that it should be returned. But if you look at it very well, and you look at the picture of the previous one, you will see that they are not really the same. Because that previous one was not preserved. So with close-range photogrammetry, we can preserve this detail, keeping it in its position, keeping it in the real shape, in the size, and everything because we're going to produce a 3D model of this. Now here is the rule of capture. You should stay at least a few meters from the object. And if you're capturing on landscape, you capture landscape throughout. If you're capturing images on portrait, you capture portrait throughout. Don't mix portrait and landscape or landscape and portrait. Use one uh, snapping uh, um, orientation for all through. That is, if you are using portrait, you use portrait all through. If you are using landscape, you use landscape all through. And like I said, you round your object twice at 60%. So basically, I'm going to pick up my phone now and I'm going to start. So here I'm facing the device. So I'm going to be moving just maybe a few steps and I snap, few steps and I snap. You, you, also, you always see your own when we're processing this data on system. So just follow me as I snap. Just watch the way I move and my steps.
So currently I have enough pictures at an overlap of 60%. I will have gone over again because I have quite a number of pictures. I have 72 images currently. Now, don't forget, always turn on your GPS, the phone GPS while you're recording this, so that when you capture all the images, it should come with location details. Don't forget to what, capture your image with your location details in it. That is, turn on your GPS device on your phone, snap at overlap, snap maybe twice around the object. Now, you can see from this that we can see the steps above, because we are not at an elevated object. We are not standing taller than the object. So when this is processed, you see that uh, the steps above will be missing uh, some of the data. But if this was a drone image, it will capture every other details. So that's one of the little limitations we have with this. It's cheaper, it's easier, it's affordable, and anyone can try this. All right, so I will see you in the video where we'll be processing this data. And don't go anywhere, because I love you. <laughs>